What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Timberborn. So we're che we're back. We're checking out update three uh, because we've got the new storages, and there is something else I I, I kind of wanted to get to. I really wanted to get to the bots. So they actually changed um, the name from. Let's see. Hold on. Where is it at? They changed the name from golems to bots, and I really want to check out the bots, and I want to, uh, that's something I wanted to do in the last episode, so we're going to progress, we're going to get some things done today, uh, we're going to expand our civilization, hopefully get our spiral empire here, this, this whole thing is going to be super cool, I think it's going to be super neat, what, what do you think, leave a comment down below, um, but yeah, I want to get our spiral empire growing here, because like, it's just such a cool area, it's such a cool, fun little area, um, I think it's going to be fun, so, uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for coming back, hopefully you're all having a fantastic time, I'm having a wonderful day, and it looks like our metal is going to be over here so we're not ready for metal yet but i want to try to get there um as quick as i can while also being as responsible as i can if that makes any sense so hopefully you all enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things and i had to go ahead and put a pathway there it looks like we're good on everything food water all that stuff is sitting pretty good oh we just finished out our water to right there so that is one block right there okay then we have a whole nother block so i think these are like the um the resources so actually what we should do is we should actually build out over this a little bit and we should put um some more water things like closer so we'd have a whole nother um like another block to drain into but um all right so uh goals for today let's see here so goals for today i think i want to go ahead and expand uh maybe expand our farm get into more farming maybe get into some more trees um i'd like to get another dam place down in here so we could have this have water in it um throughout the uh the droughts uh basically we got a whole bunch of stuff that i'd like to get going on basically improve the quality of life get some camps things like that um another thing that i think would be super huge help for us is if i went ahead and unlocked the two, one two and three uh, platforms because if we had three platforms we could basically place a platform we could cover this whole hole right here and build on top of that and that would be super handy for uh, for buildings and stuff and i think it'd look pretty cool like if we built like a center like you know like where our be beavers lived a center structure you know that was like a tower or something i think that'd be kind of cool so uh maybe in the future but let's go ahead oh we gotta get uh large pile oh that's right we never got the large pile moved in here oh my gosh large pile it's supposed to go right here <laughs> that's why i cleared that out and we're gonna set this to logs okay looking good all right so um i think i covered this in the last episode i don't think we have enough farmers so i'd like to get another farmhouse in here and i feel like it needs to go like right in here would be perfect and then we could well shoot yeah, I feel like right in here would be about perfect. Let me go ahead and mark this for clearing right here. We'll put this in here. And then I think we need to get some potatoes and stuff in here too. Like carrots are good, but I think potatoes are also like really good because then we can cook them. Actually, man, with that farm right there, like I'm thinking maybe we should wait until we can expand our farm a little bit bigger. No, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good there. Okay, so we got that cleared out. Let's go ahead and get another farmhouse right in there. And I want to go ahead and put some potatoes in here. Like I said, oh, is the drought over? Oh, the drought season appears as though it's over. So let's see, water levels rising slowly. Water wheel not moving, but it will soon. Filling up, looking good. Oh, I love it when the water starts flowing again. It's always such a good time. All right, so I have some potatoes marked here to get planted. That'll be fine. So what we need to do here, um, because you are going to be waiting on planks. This is slowly filling up. My gosh, that's actually taking quite a while to fill up now. So what I'd like to do is I'd also like to go ahead and get, let's get a, um, a dam in here. And I need to get stairs. So let's go ahead and unlock our stairs. Stairs allow us to do a whole lot of things. So we'll get that going. Um, and then path and structure. Let's go ahead and mark this as a path. Two over here to there. That looks good. Um, and then what we might do is I think we might do more tree farming right here. And then I think I want to go over here and maybe we'll do um, some more crops. Because essentially our most important resources is food and logs. Um, and once we have those under control, we should be okay. And actually, you know what, before we do anything, let's just go ahead and mark that out. So that's good. And then let's see, where was, 
this one would we'll stay full to there so if that dam's gonna keep that full so what i need to do is i probably need to build a dam over here to keep this area all full and then we could uh possibly get some crops going that would probably be pretty handy okay let's just start with that side for now so once this starts flowing hey look at that it's flowing again oh and look at that it's starting to turn green okay so now that we've got those going uh we do have potatoes getting planted so let's increase how much do we have for water storage do we have 120 points we need 120 points for a large tank we don't have that so instead should we throw up some small tanks in here i want to get more water being stored i also want to get more housing in here as well okay if we man if we unlock if we unlock this platform this first platform that would allow us to stack our houses up because <laughs> we could put pathing right in here with stairs and then we could stack our houses that would be man that would be huge okay so i also want to get another water wheel here because this is uh this guy's just not moving enough right now so we need this other one here <laughs> we, i really i really need that single platform that platform would help out so much um yeah that would be a huge help so this is gonna get in here that's gonna help out with that okay looking good looking good we just need to make some progress here so i'm gonna go ahead and place a forestry right here we are gonna do uh we're gonna do some forestry on all of this whole side right here i want to make sure that that's going uh let's go ahead and get a large pile storage thing going as well and then we'll go ahead and get a lumberjack flag down in here like that that looks pretty good so then we can throw a couple other little necessities in here and then we need to get some pathing in here as well and then i guess i go ahead and uh, i'm going to mark this for for planting as well so we'll go ahead and get some trees in here and oh we can actually plant dandelions hmm all right, so I got the I got all the trees marked for planting. Now I'm actually kind of curious about this blueberry. I forgot that we could plant these like that. So yeah, we're gonna pull those dandelions out. We can always plant new ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another dam put in right here. Um, that way it'll block the water up here. I know we have a lot of dams in here, but I think that'll I think that's fine honestly. I know like we could just have this one instead of this one, but I really want the uh, like the cross path right here, and I want the cross path right here to be able to go down into this area if we need anything. And then it's basically the same thing. It's gonna go probably right through here, so we'll probably have another dam here. But that's all right. Dams aren't that expensive, and as long as we're on top of the wood production, we should be fine. Okay, so we have 100 research. We're going to go ahead and unlock our platform here. <laughs> this platform is going to allow us to do all kinds of fun things. Oh, finally. So we can get these in here. And now that those are going to be in there, basically we can go ahead and get that in there, that in there. Uh, we can get some stairs. Let's see. We'll go ahead and get a stair right there. Stair there. We'll go ahead and put a platform in there, a platform in there that will allow us to put uh more housing in here so that's going to essentially double our housing right there uh, that'll be super handy because then we can uh we'll start producing more beavers and i think our food is okay right now we might go ahead and just get another water thing queued up as well um i'm trying also to not get like too much going on at the same time here but i think i think we're okay i think I'm, we're still manageable you know i don't think we have too many things queued up to where we're never going to get any one thing done. I think we're, we're staying on top of things. Oh, look at that. The dam is in over here now, too. So we can get that one going. Get the stairs on there. And then uh, and then they'll be able to access this. Super, look at that. That's going to make a... This red path right here is going to turn probably green. Maybe yellow, but I think it's going to be green. So that's going to help this whole section right here. I'm excited about that. And then they'll probably start working on this one over here, working on this pathway. Yeah, things are going well. I like this. I like our start so far. I'm feeling good about our, our spiral wonderland here. All right, so we're having an issue right here. <laughs> our planks are never getting made. Um, now, I did set up another water wheel right here. It's getting built, but uh, I don't have any... There's not. There's nothing 
it's not going to be connected to anything is a problem. Now, I would like to put a path going there. However, these require planks. So the only way that I really have any way to get over there is using dams. Um, we could put one here, which might move more water over here. I'll put one there to see if that helps, but I need to be able to put a, um, I need to be able to put a platform here so I can connect these two and I'm not going to be able to do that unless I have any planks. <laughs> so we're kind of in an interesting spot here. It's weird. Cause like the water is moving, right? It's just not moving. It's just not moving enough. <laughs> see, there's our water, <laughs> our water wheels just not hooked up to anything. <sighs> oh my goodness. It's just not up to anything. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me go ahead and prioritize this one. We'll see if we can get that built. I'm hoping maybe if I do this, it'll it'll mess with the water flow a little bit and cause it to move this a little bit just so we can get some planks made. So that way I can get out here and connect these two and then we'll be fine. But I got... <laughs> Honestly, I probably should put another dam block right here. That might actually help it. That might actually help it move, move some water over here too. Okay, did that do anything? It didn't, it didn't do anything. <laughs> oh man, it didn't do anything to help out this. All right, so the only way I can really get there for sure is if I build like that, which would cause channels of water to, I, I don't even know. This is probably a terrible idea, but let's just, let's do this. We'll go ahead and do that and then i should be able to go ahead and then put a um a power deal there <laughs> oh man this is gonna be we need to go ahead and make these priority as well this is such an expensive use of logs right now but i mean luckily i have logs i just don't have planks so our carrots are almost full we're getting close. Berries are okay. Um, oh, we need another. We need another storage place for our potatoes. Uh, let's go ahead and get another warehouse in here. We need another warehouse in here, anyways. And we'll go ahead and set this one to uh, the taters. And then once we start cooking potatoes, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get a thing set up for cooked potatoes as well. But um, none of these houses are going to get built until we get planks going. So, <laughs> oh man. All right. So so the dam is in. This was like the most used. Oh my gosh, we used so much wood doing this. Um, and I basically just let time fly because I was literally just waiting on that. So now we finally have planks going. This just does not want to move. It's just broken. It's just a broken water wheel. It doesn't want to move. So at least we have this one going. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, if I would have replaced these with levees, which didn't let any water through, it would probably make this one move, but not really even worried about it right now. So that is built. Now we can actually get this um, stairwell connected right here, which will allow this to be connected to a civilization or whatever, which will allow this to get planted, which will then increase our log production. Yes, finally, things are happening now. We're gonna get moving along here. All right, so we do have a, we have a beaver with a broken tooth. So I'd like to get that squeezed in here somewhere. Uh, right here would actually be perfect. We'll get two of those right next to each other Because uh, we we got to keep our beavers happy and healthy uh, and now that we have planks coming in. Oh, that'll be super nice And you know what in all honesty, we probably could use a secondary plank making machine thing anyways But um, I don't think we have enough. We don't have enough beavers yet. So I want to make sure that we're getting all the beavers Yes. Oh, we're connected. Look at that it's all nice and green now. <gasps> yeah, it feels good. It feels good. And then once this gets connected, it's going to be green as well. Oh, it's going to be good stuff. All right. So we have gotten everything built up now. As you see, uh, we got through some pathways in here, though. Imagine, imagine needing pathways to get to your house, you know? <laughs> so that is all fine and dan- Oh. Um... That's a small problem. That is a small, you know what? It's actually not a problem. I don't even, we'll fix it later because I can get it from this side right here. They don't actually need this one. So let's go ahead and just delete that. Yeah, we don't even need that. So uh, that'll work. Actually, I could put another house right there. 
I could put another house right there and another house right here. I can't delete that. Interesting. All right. So now we have some logs stockpiling. We've got some food. We've got some planks coming in. We are looking pretty good. We can uh, we can go ahead and start doing some things now, which is nice. And with this, we should get a little bit of a boom in population. So um, I'd like to get the grill. And then let's see, we have 400 that that just right there, 400 research points. That shows you how long it took to build all this stuff. It took a while. Um, so we have an aquatic, we have an aquatic farmhouse. Aquatic farmhouse could be good over here. Hmm. I think if we could bring this pathway down right here, put a dam in here, and then that would cover all this water, and then that would give us the aquatic stuff. And I mean, we have we we're not currently building anything, so like that might actually be. That'd actually be a good move for us. The only thing I'm worried about is, let's see if this length here, it's going to start turning into a yellow. So we're going to have to, we're, we need to come across right here. We definitely need to come across right here and put some buildings and stuff like that in here. If this is all field land and stuff like that, that's fine. Oh, actually, hold on. Watch this. Let's make it, let's make some magic happen. Boop. And check that out. It's all nice and green now. Um, let's see, because if I do this dam first, that'll make sure that water stays into there. So that'd give us two dams, or what maybe we should do, maybe we should focus on the well-being. Oh, it's hard to decide, it's hard to decide. Okay, you know what? Here, let's do this. Let's 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 keep with the basics here. Let's at least get another lumber mill in here, because we're gonna need another one of those. Um, and then we are going to need a grist mill to turn our wheat into flour, which we don't actually have any wheat yet. So let's go ahead and get the grill going. Where can we put the grill? I want to try to get it as. Oh, you know what? We could do that, or we could throw more storage, and we could stack storages on top of this. You know what? We probably should leave this for stacking the storages. Could always put the grill right in here. I could uh, remove this pathway. Or we could put the grill right into here. The only problem is that we're going to have to bring food from here all the way over here. And if we keep it closer, if you keep the food closer, it'll cook faster and we won't have to like take it as far. So the other option we have is we could get the, uh, we could get the two high platforms and we could start filling out over here. We could start filling in here. Actually, these need to be three high to fill along the edges and fill like this middle area. That's a lot of resources though to start filling land, filling area like that. And we don't particularly need to do that yet. You know what? We're going to put the, uh, we're going to put the grill right in here. I got to just, I just got to delete this. Yeah, we'll throw the grill right in there. That's like a good spot for it. Now, how's our water looking? 120. Okay, so since we are, um, since we're hitting, we're going to increase our population. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can't squeeze in a few water storages here and there. All right, so we got one, two, three, got three more water, four more water storages. Okay, so we'll go with those. Let those get built. We'll let this get built, and then we'll go ahead and start cooking up some potatoes because that is what's in here, and we have 132 potatoes. Now, we do need to have a spot for cooked potatoes as well. Now, what I'm thinking for that, let's see. This only holds um, 3,200. We really need a thing for cooked potatoes. So... You know what? It might be time to go ahead and expand right here. Let's go ahead and expand this out right here. And we'll throw a pathway into here and into here. And we'll grab our storage and we'll throw one there. I'm going to go ahead and just queue up all of these like that. This one we'll go ahead and do. Where is our cooked grilled potatoes? Perfect. We'll do grilled potatoes there. We'll leave these two blank for now because I just don't know what I need them for. Uh, I guess we could hook them up with carrots since our carrots are kind of overloading and then we could always figure out what we're going to do with carrots later. Um, carrots are a great food to have as a fallback food though. 
so we'll let that get built our city should start increasing up we have five children oh -ho! and let's go ahead and select grilled potatoes now i know we don't have anybody to work there yet uh yet once uh once somebody grills up though they'll, they'll be fine they'll be fine you know what i'm actually kind of curious so we've got this here can i throw like a small thing underneath of that no so what if I put that there and I say like, let's throw, I don't know, the dandelions. Cause I have some dandelions just like hanging out. That's not going to be connected to anything. Oh, this needs to be water. Is there a way for me to sneak a path into there? I believe there is. So that'll be dandelion storage. <laughs> oh snap. I guess I should go ahead and mark all these for water. Oh my gosh. Storage is already built. Oh no, they're not. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, those things got built super fast. They're not, they're not done yet. Now our other things are done. Okay, so I don't have anything in those. I don't think I'm going to set any. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and set these to carrots. We might as well. We'll set these to carrots and we'll set these to berries. Just so, just if we get more food, cool. It's not going to be a bad thing. Uh, and then I can always change this out later because we can always hit to uh, empty this out and then swap that out. And actually, if I think if we swap this, they'll actually unload all of that stuff anyway. So that looks good. Now we are bringing in quite a few, um, quite a few more beavers here. So we have eight younglings, eight children now. And I'm worried that this isn't going to be enough food. So what I'm thinking, you know what? I think we're going to have to queue it up. Let's go ahead and let's do it. Let's get a... Let's get a dam in here. Let's go this way. Let's get our stairs. We'll queue those in right there. I don't even know how this is going to work. I don't know if they can build from right here or not. Uh, we needed that one to get in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here. Across there. And right here. Now, the reason I, I could just put the floating foundations here... But I figured we might as well. You might as well have different water locks. Like, I yeah, I don't see the purpose, re like, the reason why not to. So we'll just use those. They just use logs anyways. And logs, um, they're pretty easy to come across, especially once these trees all start popping up. And then we also have this whole area that we need to uh, clear out as well. So we should be pretty good. I just, I don't know how this is going to work right here. I'm kind of curious to see. And this one. So actually, let's go ahead and get a pathway in here. And then we'll have the pathway continue straight here. And then in here is going to be um, another farm. So I think we're going to do maybe wheat and potatoes or something in here. And then we'll also do some aqua um, aquatic farming as well in here. Uh, maybe actually probably along this whole side right there. Uh, so lots of food processing. And then in here, we'll probably go ahead and uh, get with the, the program with some other things. And then I'm trying to move this way. If we can just go straight from here across, we should... Be able to hit the metal resources from here and maybe even the underground ruins i don't know we'll have to see all right so they're going ahead and they're working on those i set up a lumberjack flag here and i did set up a small storage here and we're going to go ahead and set up uh cut trees basically everything here hold on if i select this everything like that should take out this whole half ring and then we, uh, you know, what? we'll go ahead and mark these two. Perfect. I don't even know this flag. Oh, that flag's not even going to reach all the way down there. So we'll have to do another one down here. That's fine. So we'll get this cleared out and then uh, hopefully we can get this to be our farming stuff. So um, I feel like we're looking pretty good here. I feel like we have enough trees right now. I don't know. What we might do is we might, I might actually, I don't know. We might need to throw another forestry in there or we might, I might actually throw another forestry here. And continue some forestry stuff right into this area. You know, with this whole drought thing and us not being able to make anything, um, we are actually technically at like one of the highest spots on the map here. So what might benefit us is a windmill. That might actually... It's a little expensive... But if we hook it up right in here, we should be good. I think we can put one there. We could put another one right here. Let's just do one for now. Let's just do the one and then we'll connect it right there. And we'll just, we'll see how that goes. 
we'll see if maybe that gives us any power. I mean, we are at the highest point, on, like at the highest point on the map here. So, no, it is a little bit higher over here. And I honestly don't, I don't even know if height even takes the, uh, even matters at all. But I don't know. We'll see. Oh, would you look at that? It's actually turning. Oh, we just need this hooked up. Come on, <laughs> come on, darn it. There we go. Look at that. That actually, you know what? I think that might have, oh, and now the drought ended. That's fantastic. Okay. All right. So we got a beaver that's injured here. That is giving me the cue that we need to get some well-being stuff going. So let's go ahead and let's get a medical bed. Now, if I'm not mistaken, um, where sick beavers come to rest performs better when supplied with a medicine by a healer. So we need to find a healer as well. Now, these guys, they don't take up all that much room. Trying to utilize all of the space that we can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to put, we'll put one there, one there. Let's put those two there for now. Now, a healer, a healer. So a healer, oh, that requires 300 points. Makes medicine and distributes it to medical beds. But do these work without? A spot where sick beavers can come to rest performs better when supplied with medicine by a healer. But it isn't, doesn't mean it, it has to have a healer. So we'll go ahead and just stick with those two for now. Because we only have one sick beaver. I can't believe that thing is working as good as it is. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we might actually go ahead and throw another another wind turbine in here because like that is that is working great. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is all working good. Oh, and we're in the green. That is good. This is getting built up. Um, I was gonna say we're out of the drought season, so it's taking a little bit, but this is gonna fill up. That filled up. This is gonna fill up. And then this is gonna fill up. And then this one. Yeah. And since we have these dams like this, it keeps the uh, keeps the water level a little bit higher too. All right, and then I think the last thing that we're gonna go ahead and do for uh, for this episode for today, since we got food coming in here, this is getting worked on. Let's go ahead and let's get the shower going. Let's kind of increase the quality of life here. So the shower requires a pathway connection and it needs to be right next to the water. So what I'm actually thinking here is what if we actually just uh, kind of put these off to like a side here. So let's grab, let's grab these, let's grab these. And they're what, three? So let's grab those there. And then we'll go ahead and put a, um, a pathway out like this. They'll build those and then we can put our, um, our showers. Where's the, the well-being? We can put our showers right here like this. So we can do one, two, we'll just do probably two for now. Uh, but I guess, I mean, we could do five. If we did five, that'd be quite a bit. Um, that actually wouldn't be that bad. I just, I think, you know what? We'll do two or three. We'll do that. And then let's see, where is the Lido? This is the, oh, I wanted to see what it looked like without unlocking it. So this is a perfect place to relax by a river. This also gives them the wet fur bonus, but it's a little bit different. I just don't know how, I don't, I don't know. How the heck did they get those? They must be able to reach from here. They must be able to reach a block away. They've got to be able to reach a block away. <laughs> Cause like, look at that. How did that even happen? I don't even know how that happens. Okay. So we currently have five beavers out of work, which makes me think that we need to put them into work. So I think let's grab another inventor. That'll give one beaver a job. And then maybe we need to look at the refinement. So we've already got planks. Maybe we should go ahead and look at gears. Are we making enough planks? I don't know if we're making enough planks. Maybe we need another plank workshop because planks are used for like every, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's get another plank workshop in here. That'll be our three plank workshops. That'll give somebody else a job. And then I think we do need to go ahead and unlock the gears. So let's see if we can't get that connected in here somewhere. We could, what we can do is since we did increase, since we did move our power from, um, to this side over here, we could go ahead 
and start putting some buildings in here that require power and then have some industrial stuff in here that might not be a terrible idea or i could always put another building over here with a um with another uh water wheel right here okay so here's our little area right here let's go ahead and do our well-being let's get some showers in here why can't i put that there what oh shoot it has to be hanging over an edge Okay, that's fine. That's easy enough. And we'll put three showers in right there. That'll work. Now, the other thing I want to do for this area real fast is I actually want to go ahead and get a... Um, I want to get a, uh, a stair going down that side and a stair going down this side. Just so that way, if we uh, start the, aqua the aquatic farming stuff, uh, we have a stair going down each side so that way they can get you know, up and over and do what they need to do. Okay, so our third gear shop is up and running. I went ahead and put another storage in here, so that'll allow us to store, uh, what is that, 40 planks? Should allow us to store 40 planks. And I actually really like this because it allows me to limit how much of something is made. So, because like before, if I had, you know, all the storage, it would just keep filling in here. Uh, this is much, much better. So, um, yeah, that's going good. Look at that. They're all coming in here taking showers. Maybe I do need two more of them. Holy moly. I'm very surprised that these are getting used as much as they are. Holy moly. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get the other two in here. Good gosh. And then I guess we... I don't have any rooftop terraces built yet. I also don't have any campfires. You know, what? let's go ahead and get some campfires in here. We'll do those two right there. Oh my gosh, these guys like, look at them showering. I swear, my last playthrough, like these guys didn't, they never use these things. Holy mo. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so it's just so funny that they're like they're lining up to use the things. I love it. I love it. I'm glad we did that. I mean, hey, they're they're happy beavers. Happy beavers. All right, and with that, we're going to end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I am trying to um I'm definitely trying to condense our buildings a little bit more. I'm trying to get more in our land. I mean, we don't have that much land to even to to utilize here, so I'm definitely trying to um make sure that I'm utilizing what I can. I think we're going to have to go up another um another thing here. So it's going to be interesting because I'm going to have to do these again and I'm going to have to get some more stairs and that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I want to get another, probably another level up here so we can get some rooftop terraces and maybe some more houses. And then, like I said, eventually I want to cover this area with, um, with those, those platforms as well and build up in here. And yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's so far so good. I mean, worst case scenario too, land wise, we could always add planks around this whole spiral thing. And then you wouldn't even know that there's water running underneath of it. It's like underground plumbing. Oh my gosh. It'd be amazing. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.